Generic greetings, I'm not too sure about yourself, however, there's times when I've got a game upon release and hit it really, really hard and played it an immense amount in a very short space of time, but because of that concentration, I end up sickening myself with it and getting burnout and decide to put it away for another day, and then that other day turns into other years, and uh, specifically a couple of years. Um, this is that. Railway Empire is genuinely one of the best train games I've played. In fact, it would probably be the best if it had multiplayer, but sadly, alas, it does not. Um, but either way, I haven't played this in any great depth for quite some time, and I've sort of rediscovered the game, really. I've been relearning it and learning some of the new stuff and checking out some of the DLCs, and um, basically, we're just going to be playing a little bit of it, by the way, today's beverage is. Coffee black, no sugar. So let's just go over to scenarios and specifically we're going to go over to the uh, Great Britain and Ireland uh, scenario. This is uh, one of the DLCs here and you see it goes from 1830 to 1854, the transport revolution. Now I have loaded into this but that is as far as I've got so this is going to be interesting and as I said previously because I'm rediscovering the game and relearning it and also having to learn some of the new stuff, it's um, going to be not exactly um, <laughs> not exactly efficient, I'm guessing. But anyway, let's continue and we'll see what character we'll get. Well, everything's on default and standard, we might as well go for that. All around our little finger. So, we've got character selection here, the trickster. We can't select the character, however, in other modes there, uh, sometimes you can. So we've got eloquent as an ability, auctions are 30% cheaper, alright, that's pretty good. Uh, beguiling. Three times as much applications from spies, right, so that's stealing things from um, other uh, railroads, and anti-progressive gains 70% less innovation points, right, okay, so this character is about nicking technology from other people. Also, um, wearing high heels and standing on a big pile of poker chips is probably the way to get a broken ankle very sharpish. Anyway, we're not going <laughs> to critique um, footwear in this game. We're going to be uh, selecting our name, Trisha Jones, and we're going to be the uh, Midland Dynamic Company. Ah, that'll do us, and then we'll click continue and load in. So, we are going to start the, uh, it looks like Stevenson. Liverpool and Manchester. Robert Stevenson. Okay. Pleased to meet you. I'm pleased to meet you. As you might know, I am known for a certain expertise in building and handling steam locomotives. Mm -hmm. And I look forward to collaborating with you. Mm. One of the very first railway lines has been opened up between Manchester and Liverpool recently. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, only on paper. Let us make these plans become reality. So I believe that fella historically was from Northumberland, and that accent didn't seem entirely there, but um, I, I can't really um, say much about that, because I'm going to be butchering, I'm guessing, several accents. We've got Manchester, um, and we've got Liverpool as well over there, Chechen. Um, how would you know that? Hey, hey calm down. Uh, and then that goes to Wrexham down there, and then we should have, oh, Birmingham? All right. Uh, I mean, to be fair, you just sound like Barry from halfway to St. Pet. Anyway, let us get some sort of railroad on the go. We are going to build a small train station in Liverpool, and then we're going to move over to Manchester, because I believe that is one of our tasks. Uh, yes, connect Manchester and Liverpool, so we're going to do just that. So we'll go over to track construction, and we're going to click there, and we could just go direct but the problem with that is that it's going to get this massive um, trestle in there so I'm going to add uh, another point in there and you see we've got zero grade and only a three percent grade there we'll probably cut it a little bit there so it's got um that's a little bit better that's about right actually do you want to remove that one oh that's not the right thing uh, it should keep that um I think we can I think we can remove it yes we can um see that's the problem there is it's cutting right through here if what if we place that that's going to put it to 88 okay that's not too bad so we will buy With that and line, we, will we will get some um, locomotives on it to the broad population correct it will but it seems like the public and the investors are still reserved. As soon as we create more successful lines, this will change. Okay, good. So, we will get ourselves an engine. It says by train, but by loco, I guess. Uh, we'll buy that there. And we can see we've got the uh, the rocket there, basically, which is pretty good. Uh, I say pretty good. It's good for 1830 with its uh, 13 miles an hour top speed. We are going to set up the line, which is going to be from Liverpool to Manchester. And we're going to keep the loading on uh, by uh, as automatic. And it's going to select, I believe, by default... Um, 
that engine there. There you go. If we, if we can have a quick look at it, we can uh, select that. And there it is. Uh, Liverpool to Manchester. It's currently got no one on it. Um, we can actually say centre on the train there. And, ooh, very nice. That looks... Uh, so much detail in this. In fact, we can uh, have a little ride along. Um, oh, we can see the... Um, piston working there on the front a nice 13 mile an hour uh, <laughs> a 13 mile an hour journey to uh, our destination we can go from the front there that's quite low we can go on the back and uh, ooh, pollutants and um, that will do us quite nicely right so that's cracking on there a couple of things we probably need to do is I think we'll go and place we'll go over to um, building construction and supply tower and we will place a supply tower and we'll place it um, I mean you could put it right in the middle uh, it's what sand and lube um, and it builds on the roots. I'm going to put it probably closer to Liverpool um, for no reason other than I can, I guess. And there's the supply tower there. So if we look at that, we can see it's um, going to be um, full of, well, all the resources that we just mentioned, all the aforementioned resources. So that's going to be that uh, sorted. Anyway, we've got another personnel. And it's not trained personnel. It looks like to be um, an employee. This is a reporter, and I'm not too sure what they do. Uh, which put it, oh, target of a newspaper article. That'll probably reduce their... Um, I'm guessing it's going to be to do with like reducing their... Um, opinion of people there but i don't really know because as i said that's um something i haven't really experienced we've got in peterborough uh, there's no train station there and whatnot but anyway we're not going to bother with that let's go back over to manchester we can see that manchester is it has a brewery there which is producing cider and turns apples into cider now we do have some apples up here so what we might be able to do is have the track come along and up and then connect to that and i think that's probably what we'll do so we'll go to extra actually we won't go for track first we'll go for a small train station and then because this is a um it's classed as an industrial one. Um, why is that cutting the ground out like that? Because it's classed as industrial, all you need to do is get near it and then um, just click and then that does the job quite nicely. Good grief, that's really cut out <laughs> the land there. Anyway, so we'll go for a line, which will go from there. And we can just go straight to there if we want to, and it's going to... Um, place that quite nicely. However, I think we'll do that just to get the grid um, a bit... Oh, good grief. So it's going to come out of there. It's going to go onto this um, little bridge and then to a massive um, a massive cut in the land. Wow, okay. And that's going to cost us 41,000 generic units of currency. That's not too bad. So we'll buy that. And um, you can see that what will happen is that this train will continue coming along. But what we want to do is go for a new train. Uh, we'll buy an engine there. Then we're not going to put any personnel on it at the moment. And uh, I mean, we could put some... Oh, we don't actually have cars or anything on here. We don't have any um, options for that just yet. But what we're going to do is go for uh, apples there and go up to Manchester. And uh, that will be us pretty much done. However, I believe it can only spawn... Can it spawn there? It can. Um, that's just telling us... That's just tutorial telling us uh, what things uh, are and what they're doing. Um, so the problem that we'll have is that that won't actually move and the reason for it is because we don't have any signals so um, stuff won't be able to drive in there is a signal on the front there I don't know if you can see it it's a very small one there and so things can't come out of that uh, things won't just smash into each other but um, the the train will only go to the next signal or if the next signal is free so we can place a signal and um, we'll rotate it round and we'll place it um, about there and what that will do is basically say that look if this stre uh, tr uh, stretch of line which we can mouse over is free it should go there automatically uh, we're going to place that one there as well and that should do us uh, quite nicely actually and yes it is continuing on we could put the same on the other side but the reality is that we're not going to have anything um, going back over that way uh, most likely anyway What's the same? When a train reaches city, freight mail passage will be unloaded, raising represents uh, transport revenue. The faster you transport the goods, uh, the higher revenues. Yes, that is correct. Okay, a um, couple of things we haven't had looked at. Uh, we need to look at, um, what's this? This is a severe, um, and if we hire that person, um, it will, what's that? Uh, carries out precise service to reduce the cost of new routes by 5%. So having that from the get-go is pretty good. We've got a spy, which we are going to hire. It's going to cost us 19 grand, and we'll send it to uh, Beatrix von Pomp, I think, and then we'll see if we can get some technology. Speaking of technology, we can have a look at our research. Um, I'm just amazed on... Oh, good grief. I'm amazed on just how big this research tree is. And yes, there is... Uh, there's your mallard there, your 462. Um, sorry, um, yeah, you're 462. And also, where is it? It's the, uh, there we are, A3, Flying Scotsman. Nice. Um, actually, it does say there, speed 45 miles in, no, hang on, um, 71. Hmm, okay. Um, I was going to say, <laughs> wasn't it the first, wasn't it historically the first 
uh, locomotive to reach 100. In fact, it does say there, the Flying Scots from the first steam locomotive to be able to reach top speed of 100 miles an hour. But the average speed is 71, I guess, which is, um, well, for when can we research that? It um, uh, just is not available in the scenario. Yeah, I know, because it only got the scenario only goes up until, um, sadly, there, uh, up to 1850. But anyway, close that down, and we do have some more tasks. Achieve an average balance of 4,500 uh, generic units of currency with at least eight active uh, train lines. And we've currently got zero of eight, which is interesting. Anyway... Um, we can cycle through our trains. We can see one's in Liverpool now, and the other one is uh, going back and forward over here. What I'll do, because it's going to be uh, useful, I'm going to place a supply tower probably in... Um, I'll probably quite nice if I place it in this cut. Um, I'll place it just after the bridge there, <laughs> because why not? And there we go. Right, um, what else do we need to do? Well, with the money that we have, it is not... It's not unreasonable that I could try and buy uh, this industry. The problem is that it's probably going to cost a lot, although, um, do we wait? Do we wait until we get um, another personnel to cheapen that out? Um, having that would be useful. Um, go on, I'll buy that industry. Uh, ooh, starting bid is 400,000. No, we don't have nowhere near enough money to uh, do that. Anyway, Liverpool, it does say... It's got ham industry there, so meat industry, private ownership at the moment. It turns pigs into ham, and we do have some piggies, I think, um, there, yes, near Wrexham, actually. Oh, but Wrexham does the same thing, so we might as well go from Liverpool to Wrexham and then Wrexham down to there. But what I'll do beforehand is I will go for an expanding of the train station which is going to add another line and that allows us to then go and sort of connect that up like so and then we will get a uh, i think we'll get a signal in there which is, should be fine uh, what's this telling us uh, signals and switches um yeah it's going to tell us pretty much what we already know that's fine and then what we'll do is from here we'll come out to about there um and i want to do um I want to buy that straight away, but then I want to do that and then to there just to connect that up and then we'll go from there. We'll go straight across. Uh, we want a ideally a fairly neutral grade. Um, I guess we'll cross it as just as fast as we can. 1% incline, that's fine. And then we're going to come... Oh, I don't like that. It's because of the 3%, uh, 2%. That should be okay. And then from there... Um, do you want to adjust the height? There's a 1% grade if we do it like that. Okay, and then we can go to there, and then sort of just move down here over to Wrexham. We'll probably go, um, see that's a very big uh, trestle. We need to move that up to 1% incline, and then across to there. And that's 1%, but it's also a massive cut in. Look at that, that's huge. Um, what we'll do then, we will probably... Remove that track point, remove that track point, and just see what it recommends. That's only a 2% grey, that's okay, that's not too bad. And then we'll go into Wrexham about from there. But what I'll do is I'll buy, um, I'll buy that piece there, I'll get um, a small train station... Uh, a small train station or a train station? The only difference is just the amount of... it's like the area of effect, I think. Yeah, you can see, you can see the... Um, how. Um, how far you can, can um, gather materials from. Because if you have, say, a train station there, a large one, um, it's going to gather two resources, whereas this one is only going to get the one. So, oh, no, you can get both, but the small one, definitely not. Anyway, uh, we're going to go for a standard uh, small train station, which we'll put in probably right in the centre because that's generally the best thing to do. If you put it in the centre, um, it uh, gives you... Um, more passengers essentially and then we'll buy that so that's uh, going into Wrexham we will get ourselves a signal um probably probably do you want that side of the bridge I don't think it really matters to be honest with you we'll place that there we're going to uh, rotate it round and place it also there um you can hold shift and you can see you get this um red thing on there which basically means you can only go that way um, but at the moment, as we're only getting one train um, along here, it doesn't really matter that there's only uh, there's no passing points or anything like that. So that's fine. We'll also put a supply tower just before the bridge, and then that should be us. So we'll go over to our uh, new trains. We're going to buy in one of those. We'll go back and say new line from there to there, and then done. So 
That's from Liverpool to Wrexham, and then from Wrexham we want to come down and uh, gather these. So we'll go for a small train station, and I'm just going to place it as close to uh, Wrexham as possible, because there's no reason uh, why we can kind of just put it like that. That should be about right, and then we will connect that straight up, and it's only a 1% um, grade, and luckily it doesn't actually look too bad. So we will buy that, and then once again, we'll set up another line. Now, I'm not too sure about placing, um, I'm not too sure about placing like a, do I really want to place one? A spy tower there, yeah that'll be fine. Um, so we want, where is it, new train, we'll say manage that, we'll buy that, set up a line, one, two, done. Okay, and then this is going to take a little bit of time to, uh, that, for that to clear out and then we're going to, yeah, have that uh, locomotive spawn and then the loco will head off. Right. So, that's not too bad. So, hopefully, we'll get a decent amount of money. Well, I really do hope that is the case, because we've got 13 grand remaining, but we have built a lot of track. Um, it's quite dark and gloomy in and around Liverpool. Um, and it does... I guess... I don't know if... Have the game... Hmm. Hmm. I'm just thinking. It, it, meat industry. Um, is That is, yeah, the pigs. I wonder, why didn't they go with Chechen? Uh, <laughs> oh, good grief. Anyway, um... So from Manchester, where else could we go? There's Leeds over there, um, Hull, we got Nottingham, um, Birmingham, uh, Hereford. In fact, it does actually go over to um, Cardiff and uh, it was Swansea around here. Uh, well, there's Bath down there. Um, Swansea, there it is, yeah, there you go. I do like the, uh, the detail in the game. It does say Ireland as well and... Wow, look at that. There's Limerick. Uh, should have Belfast there. Der actually, Belfast's uh, quite a large one. Um... And we should have, where is it, uh, Cork there, yeah. Yeah, I've never, I, I don't know about getting across, um, I'm guessing go across there. Oh, is that the Isle of Man? That will probably be the Isle of Man, I'm thinking. Well, it's in the Irish Sea, so it's about right, I think. Anyway, we've now got another spy, which is um, useful. Obviously, you've got Scotland as well, and um, yeah, getting, getting trains through here, quite difficult. A lot of tunnels, a lot of bridges and stuff. Um... I've got Newcastle, I like you know, and uh, Middlesbrough. Oh, not too bad as well. We might uh, head up that way, oop, oop north. Anyway, let's go to personnel, and we're going to get uh, where is spy, and we'll hire those, and we'll send them to um, Don McLeod and hire them. That's um, Barbara Mitchell, and they're going to really nick stuff. I'm guessing. We'll close that overlay down, and we'll see just how our uh, trains are doing. So there's our first one going from Liverpool to Manchester. Um, oh, and there's an auctioneer. So what does an auctioneer actually do? I'm not too sure. Um, it doesn't say task duration, nor uh, it doesn't actually say what they do. Auctioneer uh, gets active when required. Well, I'll hire them. I don't know what they do. I assume, um, um, I'm assuming that maybe it cheapens stuff out. Uh, what's this saying? Trains running between cities carry freight and express goods, passengers and mail. Express goods should be transported as quickly as possible because then you will be paid more. Well, at the moment, we've got everything on automatic. Um, yeah, that's just set to automatic. Um, can I manage that line? Um, it might be from here. I'm not too sure how we alter the priorities because at the moment when we set it, well, when we set it up, it was just automatic, so it's carrying ham and passengers. So, I mean, if you wanted an express one, then you could. Um, what else was I going to go for? Oh, yes. Each town is industries where the high-quality goods are manufactured. These goods may be in demand in other cities. That is correct. They may be in demand in other cities. Um, I don't know how you find out, though. I'm guessing if I click on, say, Manchester here... Um, it says there's the express goods, 96% um, of passengers is going by coach and 100% of mail. Uh, you can see the cider for export, passengers waiting and mail waiting. Um, it doesn't tell me uh, what their um, requirements are. So it is, uh, the weekly demand is, uh, well it's fish and barley and ham and cider. Fair enough. Um, and actually there's no demand for pigs now. Yeah. There you go, and there's obviously quite a big weekly demand for apples. Uh, in terms of condition, the trains are not too bad, but we could, if we wanted to, at some point, um, get an upgrade to our station and get a maintenance building. There's other buildings you can make as well, I just haven't done so. So you can see they've got different industries there. 
set up these industries in different places you've also got city buildings as well so universities museums um, i believe you can quite easily just buy them from the city here yeah so once it reaches a certain level you can then um, uh, buy that industry there i really do want the meat industry um it would be uh, useful not in liverpool down at wrexham would be better and then um, same thing for for manchester and uh, what's this this is uh, uh mac namara Okay, what's this? This is... Is this a salt mine? It is! It's ranked in Rainbow City... No, okay, that's... that's <laughs> um, so we've got a salt mine there, and I don't think salt is uh, required elsewhere. Um, I believe there is an overlay, a flow of goods. Let's go for... Um, where would it be? Um, paper... Eel, eel pie? Salt. Um, that is supplying salt, and there is a demand... No, the salt there, salt there, salt there... Um, there's no demand at the moment, by the look of it. Um, what if we can switch to say, yeah, ah, there we go. We can go to apples and we can see uh, the demand. Um, there's a demand in apples, Leeds, in Leeds. Also, does Leeds have? Um, you'd think pressing a skip would close that, but apparently not. Um, does Leeds have a cider? No, it doesn't. It does say it's supplying though. Hang on. Oh, I'm guessing the apples are just. Um, let's go to Leeds. I'm guessing the apples just have. There's just demand for apples, yeah. There's just demand for apples, um, but not... Um, what's this? Uh, leaf spring suspension. Yeah, we'll get that. Um, it is... Increase the number of passengers in every city where your company has a station by 5%. Uh, the next bid is 17,500. And looks like we have got that. The auction is over. There we are. Um, I don't know if we had our auction here working on there, but anyway. Um, from here, uh, this is our... The Murphy Sea Farm. Well, I'm not going to buy the business. Do I buy the business here? How much would it cost? Ooh, quite a bit. Although, do you see that? The starting bid was half by the look of it. Ah, right. Um, No, breweries, no. Right, so we've got 1,000... Oh, random breakdown. Really? Oh, we had a random breakdown. Oh, dear, oh, dear. It's all kinds of broken. Um, I don't think maintenance is currently an issue. No. Oh, actually, it is Liverpool and Manchester. What I'll do in Manchester, because that's sort of our um, central point, I guess. We're going to upgrade that to a maintenance building. There we go. And um, they don't have to go inside the shed. Um, I know there's a couple of games uh, that do uh, have, make them go inside the shed. I think Machinky is one of them. And that's another game that I haven't played in quite some time that I'll have to get to. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to expand the station as well because I think we're going to be expanding from here. Uh, we will go for a line from there and we're going to have to actually cross to there. Um, but it is double tracking it automatically and then we'll buy that bit. And then from here we will do the same thing. And this is why I placed the uh, signals further back so I didn't have to uh, mess around with them too much. Uh, we do have another uh, personnel here. This is uh, an auctioneer. Once again, though, I don't really know what they do in the first place, so uh, we'll have to see about that. So we're going to put up to a bit faster speed there. You can see we are unloading all of these apples there. 17,280 generic goods and currency. Very nice indeed. Um, for Liverpool, uh, we just got, I think, mail there. Oh, we've got cider, mail, and passengers going from um, Manchester to there. Obviously, we've got this uh, demand for the imported good pigs has been reduced as the maximum stock level has been reached. Okay. So I'm guessing then we've got uh, mail and passengers coming back and forward, but the maximum stock level has been reached. Yes, it is. So we need to transport that. We need to have another uh, train going back and forward, but because of that, we'll need probably a passing point. Um, what I'm going to do then? Oh, a saboteur. Interesting. Um, and it can sabotage all different types of stuff. I will not bother with that. In fact, I'm sure... Surely in tips and tricks it'll have that. Uh, personnel, office personnel, doesn't tell me, brilliant. Um, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a passing point here, but I think it's just... Damn it, yeah. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm going to have to delete that. Um, bulldozer, we'll delete that. Oh, it's in use. Object is in use. I dispute that assessment, but I'm guessing there's an order from this for it to be used. Let's just see if that is the case. No, it goes straight past. Right, I don't know what it means then. Um, we will delete that supply tower, yes. We will then, from here, um, go um, to there. We're going to come along. Actually, you know what? Is there really any point? It's not a long line, is it? I'm guessing building it on the 
building another trestle would be just stupidly inefficient. Um, yes, I think it would be. Uh, let's rotate the camera around to there. Yeah, it's just not going to do it. Okay. I wanted a passing point, but having it just outside of Wrexham... This is this is the ideal passing point. <laughs> um, okay. I'll put the supply tow back where it was. From here, we'll spur it off like that. No. To there. Then we'll go to there. And then we'll connect it up to there. And what we'll do is we'll buy that. It's only 10 grand, so it's quite cheap. And then the signals, we want to have it so that we um, have... Where would it be? Um, no entry there. And this one will have no entry there. The problem is that I don't think it's long enough. No, I don't think it is long enough at all. Um... Yeah, train stops the signal can be pushed into the switch. It's not big enough. That is going to get deleted. And then we should be able to go from there. All the way to there. And then there. Right, that's better. Um, we'll have a signal to say stop there. Rotate that round to there. And then don't come that way. So we now have a, a one-way system in place. Which means that we can get new train, new locomotive, the line loading freight only from there to there. But that one can be automatic. Ah, oh, looks like you can't alter it. Um, right, Wrexham. I'm not going to set the track. We'll say... At Wrexham, it's going to be priority as meat. And Liverpool, whatever it wants. This is one of the bits that I'm not very... I mean, I'm not very confident about the majority of the game so far, but... Um, <laughs> Because as I said, I'm still relearning bits of it. But um, yeah, uh, this is the whole priority stuff I haven't really got to grips with yet. Um, opening of L&M Railway, Liverpool and Manchester in steam. Um, and also abducted by aliens. What? A strange encounter of a different kind happens to Russell Case about 68 miles north west of Las Vegas. That is something we really don't care about at this point. Right, so uh, that should hopefully now mean that um, we have another train coming back and forward. In fact, yeah, you can see that that's now stopping there. And that's passing. And it's passed. Excellent. Why is it stopped? Two trains cannot start their journey because you might collide the same stretch of rail track. You can add more track at this location, use different direct signals. But I've just done that. Let's see what it says. Is this just going to uh, just do what I've... Is this going to show what we've just done? I think that's exactly what it's going to do. Right, let's put that in. Yeah, that yeah, that would be bad. Yeah, I <laughs> very good video of uh, showing exactly what the wrong thing uh, to do is, and that's saying there. Yes, that's the priority, and there should be one that way. Yeah, and that one will be the other way. But we've done we've done exactly the same thing. Okay. Let's see if that is going to be the case. That's going to come out. It's going to come along here. And it's going to stop there. Yeah. That's actually perfectly fine. Hmm. Oh, I know why. Hang on. If I had a signal there... Uh, no, I don't need another one there. Because this would only make it clear from... There. Right, that should fix the problem, I think. I think. Uh, innovations are available. Okay, let's have a quick look. We've got trains and locomotives. We also have a uh, company in construction. That would be increase the number of passengers in every city where your company is a station. We don't need to do that. Um, however... 
We've probably got, well, we've got all this technology. That's a whistle. Increase the number of passengers in every city where company are stationed. No, we've got increased, um, that, oh, that's increased freight. That's a bell. Increased safety uh, of all complicated track structures and switches. Uh, we could go for a new engine, uh, John Bull. Um, 21 miles an hour. I think we will. We're going to go for that one. Uh, we're going to go for normal speed. What's happening over here? Uh, the personal dial got in higher employees, but they won't wait forever. Yes, we're aware. Uh, we've got an inventor now. Which I'm guessing um, will increase our immediately receive 130 innovation points. Um, yeah, we'll get that straight away. What else have we got? We've also got an engineer, which is maintenance uh, required for a locomotive reduction by 20%. Okay, we'll hire that person as well. And we will put them on. Um, where do you want to put them on? Oh, there's our new our new engine. That's what our standard what that's the rocket. That's what we've uh, been using so far. And then we've got that. Right, okay. Um, we do need to upgrade them engines then, and I don't know how to do that. We'll check in a moment. Um, what I need to do is apply from Liverpool to Manchester, I think. Our, uh, can we go onto that? Manage train. Yes, you want to get an engineer. Um, there we go. And we can also get a security guard, which is something I'm not too sure what to do. Prevents bandit attacks and trains and cause a 5% increase in freight price, increase in freight prices. Um, in that case then, what we'll do is we'll get our... Wrexham, that's freight there, so we might as well do that, um, so edit that train, get ourselves the security guard, um, and that's that person's assigned, and also from Wrexham to Liverpool, there's a couple of them, um, which one is prioritised, which one is prioritised for, um, the meat. It's not that one then. It'll be that one. Mm. Now this should. Oh no, that won't. That wouldn't have fixed the problem. That one. That's only that way we need to put. put I'll probably put one there, and it would fix it. Why is that stopped? Ah, because there's someone in there. That should go that way up to there. Ah, signals are annoying. <laughs> Once you get the grips of them, um, they're all right. Um, I think it's that one. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty confident it's this one. This should prioritise um, meat, but we'll see what happens. Um, breakdown in bad condition. Right, okay. To be fair, that is my fault entirely. Uh, and you can see that there has got not what we wanted. Um, from here, I'm going to say maintenance building. We'll get a maintenance building. Um... We don't need one in Liverpool because the trains either go from Liverpool to Manchester, which has a maintenance building, or from Liverpool to Wrexham and vice versa. So that should be okay. So let's double check this. So it's the Liverpool to Wrexham train. There's railroad enthusiasts. Increase the number of passengers in every city. Um, I might as well bid on it. It's only 18 grand and I've got more than enough money, I think, to, to get that. Uh, it should be done any second. Auction's over. Yep, yeah, that's fine. We've got that. Um, personnel, we've also got um, security guard, which we probably well. That's I'm trying to see what the hiring is. Um, oh, and a conductor now as well. Conductor, friendly demeanor means passengers are ready to pay ten percent more. So Liverpool to Manchester, I think we've already got a conductor on there. Um, yes, we. Oh, we don't have a conductor. No. Um, so we'll uh, we'll hire a conductor because why not? Um, this train is going back there to Liverpool. Um, by wait time, by top speed, by balance. No. Meat industry, meat industry, yeah. So that's waiting there. Ah, that's getting maintenance. I was wondering why. So that's waiting for this to be cleared? It is. Okay. Um... Probably upgrade some of these trains. Um, question is, how does one upgrade from there then? Manage. And that is replace. Yes, yeah, so we get a refund of the old one. Yep, yeah, that's fine. So we can pretty much do the same thing for every single one. I wonder if there's a quick way of doing it, like upgrade all. I'm guessing there will be. 
That's a future learning me problem. And... Are we done now? Yeah, we're all done. So, um, we now have... Oh, we're at full steam because the jump ball hits uh, 22 miles an hour. Excellent. So, still looking on uh, research because I haven't unlocked this. Uh, we've got uh, a detonator provides additional safety for subsequent trains increasing reliability. Yeah, um, and that is increase the reliability of the locomotives by 12%. That's good. We've also got a spark arrester prevents large uh, sparks coming from the top. Increase the reliability of your locomotives by 12%. Um, yeah, reliability, yeah, decent. And then that goes up to the uh, Derwent uh, 060. Cool. Um, right, so that's fine there. That's all I've done. Personnel, we do have um, just that person ready. It's still concerning. Um, that one there. They pull Wrexham. Set up the rail line. See from there, and it does specifically state priority is ham. Um, freight only manual. So how do we alter that? Is the question. Ah, there we go. Um. Yeah, so you can alter that. And we'll have to change the train. Okay, fine. Uh, we'll keep it automatic. Um, with priority as. As the ham. But we know it's this one, which is the main thing. Uh, so what I'll do is manage that train. We'll get a security guard. And sadly, by the time we got there, the personnel is no longer there. Right, okay. We've been focusing a bit on the micro stuff here. Let's go for more large scale things. We want to go from probably Manchester. Uh, we will spur off from... Um, probably from there. Like so. And then go over to Leeds, although we can only just get there, but that's not too bad. One to there, and then two to there. Actually, well, you know what? I'll just I'll buy that bit. I always tend to, sadly, go and place the track before. Place the track before the. Uh, station there. What's this? This business produces goods that are required by the industry in Leeds. Set up a railroad line so the business uses these trains for transport instead of shipping goods the traditional way. Yeah, well I would do that if um, I could actually build in there, which I cannot. Right, so line from there over to there and 1% with a little bit of a cut. That's not too bad. We will put in a couple of things. We'll have a signal in where is this? Signal in there and we probably don't need one on the other side, but we'll we'll do that. Um, the larger the station, the better. Yeah, that's fine. And we will get a train. Get the jumble. We'll set up a train up, rather. Um, set up a line. Leeds, Manchester. Done. All right. Uh, well, we do also need a supply tower, which we'll place right in the centre, because why not? Right, so we should be halfway there now, I would uh, guesstimate. Oh, five of eight for that objective. Um, so all the places we could set up. Um, there's some apples coming from here, from the uh, Tom Moore farm, but what we'll probably do is expand this station. There's a random breakdown there, that's suboptimal. Uh, we'll connect that up to there, and then we'll connect this one up to there, and that's fine. And then from here... We'll go down to the apples because just having uh, those going in there is uh, quite good. We will, however, preemptively build a small train station. Um, you can see it's actually not... It's actually pretty much out of bounds there, but because we only need the station to sort of connect up there, we should be okay. Uh, this one's going to go... Uh, that's a seven degree incline, and I don't like that. Um, nothing much we can do, though, about it. We just have to accept that, and we'll place it, I think about there um 75 grand for it so we'll we'll just say close that let the game crack on uh, that's randomly broken down it'll be slowly fixed and then straight into wreck some there and um is that going to strangely it didn't uh didn't build oh there you go there's did that only bring one thing back i think it did um I think it only brought uh, one one um, 
lord back there. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll uh, buy this out. Um, the advantage, as you can see there, is that um, you can plan it. You can plan it and then just let and just come back to it if you have, don't have the money. A lot of smart decisions like that in there. Ooh, good grief. The uh, John Bull is actually quite expensive. Position stop signals. Stretch your track can only have been uh, travelled on by one train. Stop signals divide tracks into several sections. Uh, yes, that is correct. However... In case you are short of money, you were able to issue bonds to give your project a fresh impetus at any time. Okay, good. Admittedly, um, bonds have to be repaid always, but as soon as the ardour has reached the people, the railway will profit. Ah, good. Um, so we've got apples now coming from uh, the Moor farm over to Wrexham. Uh, Wrexham has become a bit of a hotspot, really, for uh, things here. So I'm just wondering why uh, these are stopping here. Let's see if I can troubleshoot it. So this one comes to there and does not move any further until it gets to there. Because um, that's a stop signal. Um, I think... Let's see if I can get the different sections. Go on to signals. So... That's up to there. Mm. It's because we've got this passing point. Because that should be classed as a section. We haven't got them both way. I don't think you can change it. Um, no, we don't have that. <laughs> we don't have a one direction only. Hmm. So we've got that one there. And the other one doesn't come that way. I'm not going to fuss over it. That's a future me problem, and probably you problem. By all means, if you know how to fix that, comment. Uh, right, so new applicant, a saboteur. Um, I don't think that's something we want to go for. There is a promoter here, and it says um, city for your promoter, and I don't really know why you do it. Let's, um, I'll tell you what, there's, a, there's probably a town close to us. Um, there is, where is it? Where is the closest city that we can build in to? Um... There isn't. We're actually connected to them all. Okay, that's um, a thing then. Right, uh, what about the um, supply? Let's go over to... Where is it? Not research. Overlays. Flow of goods. Beef. Right. There's no demand for beef. What about potatoes? No demand for... Oh, that's vegetables. No demand for vegetables. Uh, what's that? Salt, I think the same thing. No demand. Um, and there's some fish. Uh, there is a demand there, though. There is a demand there. So, from Liverpool, then, what we'll probably do is um, have a line come out and round, although it's not going to be ideal. Um, it's also not going to be cheap, either, but we'll see what we can do. So, from, from here... Hmm, I have to move that further back. There. Um... I guess we could do that. No, I think we're going to have to delete that signal. And move it a little bit further back. That should be okay. Ah. <sighs> Plus one generic sneeze point. Um, do we go all the way over there? We can do. Go from there. One degree... <laughs> One degree incline up to there, is it? Uh, well, zero to there, actually. Right, but it's also going to cost a lot of money. Um, and why can't I build it? Uh, we'll build it to there. Once again, I have not put the uh, train station in first. Interesting that it will completely fill that... <laughs> completely fill that river in. Um, okay, I hope it doesn't go and dam the thing like it does in uh, city skylines. That would be all kinds of bad. And then from there, up to... Whoa, look at that. That would be a 69 degree incline. I think that's a glitch. That shouldn't be uh, shown there. Demolish that. Yes. Got a refund for it. Small train station. We'll put it on this side. There. And then from there to there. 
Still a 12 degree incline, what's that? Every incline will affect the speed of the train. You should avoid inclines, use powerful locomotives, pulling things up and down. Yeah, okay. Um, I wonder why that is. Clear planning. Delete that. Let's try that again. Twenty degrees. Well, we're just gonna have to manage it. So add locomotive. Um, set up the line from there to there. Accept. And then, I guess, put a signal in. Signal there. There's not not gonna be anything coming the other way. Unpause it because we don't have enough money yet for uh, <laughs> for the um, for this for the supply point. But we should have, once that comes in, yes, here we go. It's actually making decent cash. Place that there. So I was about to say, why is that stopped? But it's uh, because we've, um, yeah, opened up building. When you open a building, it pauses the game. But also, the well, this uh, you still got um, smoke coming up the stack. So, <laughs> can be a bit confusing. Um, personnel. I think it's a security guard, isn't it? Yeah, we don't need... Actually, we probably would need a security guard. That would be okay. We'll um, manage that train. Security guard. There we go. We might as well do that. Because it increases the freight price. Um, two more. Two more. Um, so. Flow of goods. Apples there. What about milk? Um, there is... There is demand... And we can build. We can build from there. Where is the demand? Hmm. None of those. Select a track to view the trains using this section. Yeah, there you go. True enough. Uh, we've got a spy, so we will hire said spy. Send it to uh, Doc Murphy. And flow of goods. What's that there? Is that coal? Cement, apparently. No, there's no requirement for it. However, timber. Once again, no supply. And what's that? Cloth. Sheep's wool. Maximum stock levels being achieved there. Um, no demand. So there's a lot. There's a lot of like. Who would demand? I guess we could go over to Hull. That would make a bit of sense. So from here then, once again, we'll have to uh, spur this off from... Oh, there's no way. It's going to have to come up from there. Which is going to look all kinds of poor. We'll come from there and then move along. Ah, first things first. Let's try and remember. Small train station in Hull. Like so. And then we'll delete it from that side and we'll go from Hull's side. Um, zero, incline, and that. Can we get over that? I guess crossing that bit's a bit difficult. It's going to be a big incline, that one. Okay, why don't we just go into there? 20 degrees, wow! There's four to there. It's not as good, but it's uh, not too bad either. Um, and then going direct. It would cost a bit, but we can get there. To there. Why not? Why not? Right, so we'll have a signal in there. We'll have a supply tower in right in the middle, because that is quite a length, that thing. Um, we'll go over to... Midland Dynamic Extends Network. Nine stations currently connected. Yes, it is. Um, so that means we need to uh, add a locomotive. We will buy... Oh, the uh, the John Hancock's there. 80 miles an hour. Um, I'm guessing that's because of the... I'm guessing that is the movement of... Because uh, we've done the task. No, it's not. Um, what's this? Train stops at the signal could be pushed into the switch in front of it. Oh, okay. Right, so we probably want to... Oh, yeah, because it'll stop there, and it'll stop that one, so we need to remove that, and then place a signal in there. That should be better. I think so. Yeah. At least it tells us. Um, connection bonus. Oh, if we connect that up to Hull. Well, that should be a quite 
easy one. Uh, what's this? A bell. Um, 16 grand, and it gives us an uh, increase. Increases the power of the locomotives. I don't know how a bell does that, but... <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. We will um, just roll with it, I guess. So there we go. That's now done. In terms of personnel, we've got a promoter. We've got an engineer. Um, maximum speed of the locomotives increased by ooh, increased by uh, six percent. That's actually gonna be quite good. Then what we'll do is we'll click on that and we'll get this one a little bit quicker, simply because um, conductor. No, we don't have a conductor. Oh, right, we have gone to... We can't put on there. Um, so, yeah, increasing the speed. We'll get those. And that should do us. Um, from Manchester, then. Sorry, from Liverpool. I'll get the station in a minute. There we go. We're going to uh, upgrade that to... Well, get that maintenance station there, because this one going back and forward here, it needs it. Um, yeah, it's telling us about locomotives. We need lots of power from there. Well, that's understandable. There's another security guard. Not too concerned there. What we are concerned with is getting a small station here and then building it as close to Hull as we can, which is there. And that's going to be crazy if we do it that way. So we can probably go to there and then across... to there, 17, it's not brilliant, it's also really expensive, it's saying if we do it automatically, it's <laughs> yeah it's 145, so we're probably best on going across like that, wow, 65 degrees, that's just stupid, I don't think we'll do that, clear that, um, over to there, See, it's in like 5%, but then we have to cut the land. There's a 1%, and then it's going to go down to there. And it's only 97 mil. Uh, it's uh, 29 miles uh, and 97,000. So that should probably do us. Uh, just wait for get a little bit more money. Um, do have new personnel, but I don't think we're going to bother with that. Also, new research. Um, increase the reliability of the engines. We could do that. What's the other one we could also go for? And uh, we've got this uh, timetables there. We've also got uh, porters. Increase the level of comfort at the station. Increase the number of passengers in every city. <sighs> Don't think we need that. Um, number of passengers in every city. Now I think the fire. I think the. Uh, I think detonator. Increase the reliability of the engines. Uh, a new record we've just set there. Twenty-five miles an hour. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Um, engine shed. Um, there's our John Hancock. <laughs> Quite good. Uh, and what's that there? Not suitable freight for this train. No suitable freight for that train available. Okay. Beagle left the harbour. Charles Darwin starts for, uh, starts off from Plymouth. Fair enough. Uh, so, we still need this set up, which we have more than enough cash for now. So, we'll go for um, a supply tower about there. We'll have a signal in... Um, probably there. And we'll do the same thing on this side. There. And then we want to set a engine going. John Bull, again, I think, is probably the way forward uh, from there and there. And that should connect them. Um, so that should give us a nice bonus. How close are we for the next task? There you go. Uh, an average balance of 4,500 with at least eight active trains. Um, so I wonder if we can connect something else. Oh, there's a spire. We're certainly going to uh, get them. So we'll send them to v Beatrix Von Pomp. And... God, the garden mine. Is that? Does is there any um sub demand there? That is coal, and there's no demand. What demand? Uh, Derwent received. Oh, we just got the. Uh, oh, that's a firefly. Oh, the Derwent. As it is quite there. observable in general, your success proves my point. The railway cool. arouses great interest right now. Mm-hmm. Your next goal shall be the heart of the United Kingdom, London. London, yeah. I am afraid we have to do a lot of persuading. Many landlords are refusing to sell their land, and thus they are blocking our way to London. Hmm. 
So we do have a new task, and the task is uh, connect two cities with a population of at least 335,000 uh, and connect London and Liverpool. Um, we might go ahead and do that, but that will not be this episode and may not be ever. Let me know if you want to see more. Um, this has been an interesting one, connecting all of these up. And like I say, it's more of a, a bit of a learning uh, game for me as well. So, um, yeah, if there's things I've, by, by all means, if there's things that you can see that I've blatantly done wrong, then let me know. Um, no, no harm, no foul on that one, I guess. Um, but yeah, in really getting back into this thing, um, like these scenarios, uh, they tend to be quite long as well. I mean, as you can see, this map is, you know, fairly detailed and, um, fairly huge as well. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, then by all means, let me know. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.